In order to be profitable in forex trading, one of the key factors is to find the right entry point. Trading is all about determining at what point a position should be open, whether you are beginner or professional. The entry rules play a significant role in traders' profit margins. The better the entries, the greater the potential profit. Short-term traders are more concerned with entry prices compared to long-term traders. It is common for forex traders to use a variety of entry strategies, but these two strategies are often used around the world to determine the perfect entry point. Price behavior against strong technical levels is the basis for this type of entry. As soon as traders find the lines of support and resistance on the chart, traders should watch price behavior around these levels. In this case, the buy entry point is formed when the price bounces upward from the support level, whereas the sell entry point is formed when the price bounces downward from the resistance level. In the event that the support level is broken, traders should wait for the price to rebound back to the broken support level to confirm a sell signal. Similarly, the breakout of the resistance level followed by the price pullback to that level will serve as a confirmation for a buy entry. In most cases, the entry based on indicator are usually based on a combination of two or three indicators. The most accurate entries can be obtained by using trend indicators in conjunction with oscillators, such as the moving average. As a result, traders are able to filter out false signals and increase the number of profitable entry points. For example, when the 50-day moving average above the 200-day moving average and the 3-day RSI drops below level 20, this is an indication of an oversold condition, so a trader can consider going long after the pullback. Conversely, a trader can consider entering a short position if the 50-day moving average is below the 200-day moving average and the 3-day RSI rises above the 80 level, which indicates an overbought condition. In order to determine which trigger levels works best, it is recommended to perform a backtest and become familiar with them.